I was going to offer you a hair of the dog, but, uh... Well, I was this for a little while. You offered me 10% of this factory last night. Yeah, that's right. So was that just a whiskey token or what? Well, I seem to recall it was uh, both of us that emptied this, not just me. So? So, the question is, how well do you hold your liquor? Well enough. Glad to hear it, because you were making some pretty bold statements yourself last night. In fact, if anyone was making any promises, it was you. Mike, I didn't make any promises I can't deliver. Is that right? Well, as long as I can make some changes, I get a fair reward, what I deserve. That's what was offered. What's the verdict? Oh, come on, Mike. The old Scotch mess not clearing. Well, we shook on it, remember? <laughs> of course I remember. I was just testing. Well done, my son. Right, well, uh, <clears throat> I'll phone Stuart Fletcher, tell him the deal's off, shall I? You could both tell her. No, wait! Why do we have to tell her? Mum was sleeping together. If she bumps into Martin, he's gonna tell her anyway. It's better coming from us. Hi, Mrs. Ilman. Hi, John. I did tell you to make sure nobody went in David's room. Oh, he's not still whinging. Well, I think I'd be whinging if I had a can of lager spilt all over my carpet. Sorry. Well, there was no structural damage, so I suppose we should be thankful for that. So you had fun, then? Yeah, we did. Didn't we? Yeah. Come on. I'd rather stick pins in my Mrs Ilman? No! What is it? Well, I will tidy upstairs, if you like. Oh, well, uh, gift horses and mouths spring to mind. Thank you, Todd. Right, you lot, listen up. Joe's reconsidered his position and he won't be leaving us after all. Seriously? Um, how come? Well, let's just say the sight of your faces every day had a lot to do with it. Unless the other job's fallen through and, um, you've come crawling back. As from today, Underworld has two partners, which doubles the risk of you getting the boot for being disrespectful to your boss. Show's over. Back to your machines. Hey, Joe. I'm dead chuffed you're staying. Yeah, that goes for all of us. Well, thanks, Uh, how more will you, please? Yeah, of course. Sit down. Thanks. Is there something wrong? I think there is, yeah. Hayley, you're one of the girls and a supervisor can't afford to be. But I thought I'd sorted the problems out. At least I've not been told otherwise. You shouldn't need telling love. Look, you're the first line of defence against slackness and shoddy work. All I'm seeing is people leaving early and saying, please, can I go to the doctor? Well, I'd sooner let them go than have them sat worrying. That's not going to do the work any good, is it? They've got the dinner breaks, Pat. They should be able to organise the time better. Look, I know you've found this job, well, tough going. No, I enjoy it. Well, it is a tough job if it's done properly. I think you're being unfair. I've worked very hard. I'm not saying you're not a good worker. Oh, thank you, but I'd rather get some credit for my supervisor. Well, I'm sorry, because from now on, you're just a machinist. Morning. Oh, Cherry, eh, Norris? That's very adventurous. Oh, no, no, that, 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 that's for Kirk. <laughs> no, I've been thinking, Norris. Really? I'm pleased to hear that. <laughs> well, it, it struck me how easily we get set in our ways. Take breakfast. Always Earl Grey in a bone china cup, two pieces of crisp bread with strawberry jam. Or elderberry. <laughs> and now here you are with your bacon and sausages. As Rita says, Living this more robust lifestyle seems to have brought you out of yourself. Well, yes, but you see, the no, thing I, is... No, I quite understand. I once spent the night up a tree on the Red Wreck. And, in a way, Norris, this is your tree. You go ahead and climb it. I can't believe I practically cleaned the entire house and you still haven't told her. Oh, there's Martin. See what I mean? I forgot to tell you, Mum, then. No. Good. you got to tell her, Sarah. Why? You know how upset your mum gets when you keep stuff from her? If you tell her, at least we can enjoy being together. Shh, there's my gran. Just call me, yeah? Look at you. Oh, it's wonderful to see you without that headscarf on. Thanks for the money. 
I'm sorry I didn't see you, sweetheart, on your birthday. Just a bit awkward. Oh, it's OK. Oh, those lovely. Are they presents? Yeah, um, this one is from Todd. Oh. And this is Amethyst. It's my birthstone. That's from Mum and Richard. Ah. Oh. Didn't think we'd be seeing much jewellery this year. Uh, one of Richard's home schemes paid out. Got a big cheque. Did it? Oh, well, that is good news. Yeah, Mum's a bit happier. Mm, I bet Richard is too. Uh, when did all this come through? The other day. Sorry, listen, I'm going to have to go and get some stuff for Bethany. Yeah, that's all right, my darling. Now, you come round for a trim any time you want, all right? Bye. Bye. Hey! You didn't have to well it yet. Yeah, well, why'd you bring it out then? Not like you're jealous or anything. I didn't want a man new ball in the house. They made a mistake with the raffle. You didn't have any choice. Oh, yeah, go on then. Tell us what you think. My dad made it up. If anybody's making it up, it's you. Not new about that. It's the truth. You only gave it you because you felt sorry for you. <gasps> Why? Well, you're a sad Man United fan for a kick-off. Get lost. You get lost. Hey! Hey! Back in the pair of you. <sighs> what you like, you? You got all weekend for scrapping. What's your rush? It was him that started it. Well, go on then. I'm all ears. I can't believe he's done this. He yeah. says I'm too soft. Have you had a written warning? Don't be stupid. This is Ailey we're talking about. Hey, do you want to go home, Ailey? <laughs> yeah. I love this job. I thought I were doing it really well. Oh, love, you were. It's just Joe throwing his weight around. I'd like to throw his flaming weight around. <laughs> Come on, let's get you out of here. Uh, Mr Baldwin, do you know all about this? I'm aware Joe's got to make some tough decisions. Yes, yeah, so you know what he's done to Ailey, then? I mean, how loyal has she been to you? Not a Karen. Look, if you've got a problem, sort it out with Joe, all right? Yeah, yeah, thanks. We will do. Don't go steaming in there. You'll just make things worse. Oh, thanks. Come on. Right. I'm sure this is constructive dismissal. Is she in a union? What's it got to do with you? No, uh, hang on a minute, Janice. I think she's got a point. All we need is uh, someone who knows what they're talking about to go in there. Oh, no. No. Come on. You want to be one of us. This is your chance to prove it. To say Toya were a vegetarian, she could make a great bacon sandwich. Oh, Toya had many qualities. Chief amongst them, loyalty. Something you might like to think of. <sighs> I thought I'd done a main bacon sandwich myself. Oh, we'll take a notice of him. Hey, yeah, love. Yeah, cheers, Vera. <sighs> All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, this ball that went to our David, there's something I don't know about. How do you mean? Well, David reckons Craig's saying it's really his. No, nah, no, nah, it's your lads who want it fair and square. All right. Well, why is he saying it? Any ideas? It's just being daft. You know what kids are like. Yeah. Uh, you go and sit down, love. All right. Yeah. What is Come it? Hey, Oh, don't ask. I'm not good enough to be supervisor, according to Joe Carter. He's put me back to machinist. I thought he'd left. Yeah, we all did. Then, when we went and welcomed him back, he goes and does this. Well, we wouldn't have stood for it when we were there. I hope you all aren't going to sit on your hands. No, you should fight this all the way to tribunal, if necessary. Yeah. Roy, stop being so practical. Just be hey, sorry hey, for me, hey. will you? I'd like a nice cup of tea and a fresh dollar. Oh, please. Sit down. <laughs> yeah, yes, if, if you could. Part owner, where do you hear this? Well, I overheard some of the girls talking. Well, you must have heard wrong. It doesn't sound like Baldwin to me, this. Well, ask Karen. No, I saw Janice in the cab and she said the same. Mm. Must be a bit of a sickness for you, this, eh? Bet you thought you'd seen the last of Joe Carter. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter to me, Steve. No. So he hasn't dropped Karen any hints that this was coming, no? Well, where would he tell Karen? Yeah, well, why not? Boss needs to confide in someone. I mean, look at you and Eileen. <laughs> hey, we have to speak about something between the sheets. <gasps> In my big mouth. <laughs> so why would he confide in Karen then? I don't know why, Steve. I just know that he does. You know, I've kind of um, seen it myself. When? I've just seen them talking, Steve. End of story. Are you going in? I can't. What? I'm new. I'm sorry. I can't risk it. Great. No, I might know. I mean, come on, do we care about Ailey or what? Hey, yeah, I'll get me P45 if I go in there and make it off. Hey, why can't you do it? Yeah. I'll have to, won't I? Hey, you've got no choice with you dead legs. Yeah. <laughs> Hiya. 
Is there a problem? Uh, yeah. We don't think it's fair what you've done to Ailey. A lot of people out there who like and respect her. Yeah, and? And that's not the way you show respect, is it? We're all really unhappy about the way that you've treated her. <laughs> yeah, well, of course you are. Because now you're in severe danger of getting a supervisor who actually supervises instead of being everyone's best mate. Well, let me just warn you about something. You bring someone in shooting a mouth off, and this factory of yours is going to be in deep trouble. Because I'll tell you something, Joe. The girls won't stand for it. Not even if it's you. What? You would. If you think you're up to the job, Karen, it's yours. Doing this lot for me, dear? Uh, not really, no. Oh, can't blame me for asking after what you did this morning. We need to talk to you. Yeah? What is it, Sarah? It's nothing to worry about. Are you sure? Sarah and I. Well, we've been seeing each other for a while now, and. Yeah, and we really care about each other. What are you trying to tell me? We're sleeping together. Could we talk about this in private, please? I want Todd to stay, Mum. But we have been careful. I should hope that goes without saying. And we didn't rush into anything. We talked about it, didn't we? It's a pity you didn't talk about it with me. Mum, we're telling you now. After the event. Well, seeing as my opinion seems to matter very little, I don't know why you're bothered. So, have I got a new supervisor? Yes or no? I'm thinking. About what? About what the girl's gonna say. Saying you've nicked Ailey's job. Well, they will do, won't they? And they'll be spot on and all. Look, if that's what you're worried about, maybe I'm asking the wrong person. You rattle cages, that's your job. Or else you're gonna get yelled at, and I'm the one who's gonna be doing the yelling. So if you can't stomach it, just say. I could do it, stood on my head. For you or someone else, and I need to know now. Right, I'll do it. Are you sure? Yeah. Right. Better tell the troops. Joe. Look, you're not gonna go out there and, um, Make out like a beg for this, are you? You better toughen up, Karen. All right, all right. Now, let's not do that. As of now, you've got a new supervisor. Any problems, any concerns, and you see Karen. You have got to be kidding. What happened to fighting for Ailey? Hey, I made me mind up about Ailey before. That's the last I want to hear about it, all right? How many pieces of silver did he give you, Karen? You would have turned it down, would you? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Not at all. You're the one taking the risk, not me. Here you go. Oh, no. That's for them girls. So? Look, don't be so soft. It's you the one. I'll just get dirty. Look, go on. <laughs> if we must. Tell you what, if he does open up next door, you'll be all on to keep your customers. I'm aware of that, Vera. I mean, look at him. <laughs> Can't get enough of him. Do you know, if the battle for custom really has commenced, <laughs> I fear that the time for appeasement has passed. Excuse me. You are? Um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's of no credit to me that, uh, that I've allowed this nettle to go on grasp for quite so long. But much as I've tried to ignore it, grasped it must be. Roy, is there something you want to say? Yes, there is. If you wish to woo your future clientele, you will not do it from my premises. Take off your apron, please. What's brought this on? Look, you can't do that. We can't manage without him. Oh, well, well yet yeah, this is what he would have us believe. But we can and we shall. Roy, what do you think you're doing? Uh, you and Joe Carter, it's cut from the same cloth. You're all easy charm till you've ingratiated yourself. And you trample on the very people who've put you where you are. Roy, I've been begging you to come in with me. I could really do without this today. I, I am sorry, Hale. Now, if you don't mind... Oh, no, whether you mind or not, I want you out of my business and out of my home. Fifty change, much obliged. <laughs> well, it's put me in a very unenviable spot as this. Look, I'm not complaining. Whatever went on, my lad's done well out of it. I just want to know if this makes up was genuine. But you see, a well-run raffle's like a, like a discreet mistress. Its secrets die with it. 
Harry, I've got two kids threatening to knock lumps out of each other. Help me out, will you? All I can say is, if you're looking for dark motives, well, you're misguided. I don't understand this, Norris. Now, why has Ken stopped visiting Aidan Krishnan? Well, I can only assume it's because he thinks the lad's guilty. Oh, so even Ken's convinced now? I'm sorry, Audrey, I thought somebody would have told you. No, who's talking to me? All I've heard is that Richard's had another of his home reversion schemes pay out. Though so how that poor soul died, I hardly dare speculate. Yes, yes, well, it was speculation that lost me in my home. I think I'll be going. Do you know, Norris, sometimes I wish we were the kind of folks that just watched their backs and kept their mouths shut. Here you go. What's this for? Just to say thanks. I must have come across as a right ungrateful soul, so... Well, Harry's told you, then. Well, no. I had to work it out for myself. I just wanted someone to have it who'd appreciate it. And your David's helped our Craig out at school, so I thought, why not? Yeah, right. And if you had to hand it back, it would have just been embarrassing, I know. Well, yeah. If you're gonna cause embarrassment, do it in style, eh? Hey, listen, mate. If you're gonna give us anything, just come and knock on the door, will you? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Norris? Are you all right? No. In all honesty, I can't say I am. Can I get you a cup of tea? You're, you're very kind, but no. Look, if the truth were known, I must say these last few days have been the longest of my entire life. Well, I nearly said you could move back here, but you'd find me terribly dull, liking everything just so. Oh, but, but I like dull. Ooh, but how can I be sure? I don't want to come down in the morning to the remains of last night's fish supper, beer cans scattered around. Oh, now, really, Emily, if you... Th Oh, 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 I see. Oh, there's more mischief in you than most people realise. <laughs> Maybe. There's more steel as well. And I will not have anyone in my house making dangerous and absurd allegations against a personal friend. Oh, no, as far as Richard Hillman's concerned, my lips are sealed. Now, do we have an understanding? Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> Good. I'll, I'll, I'll just go and get me things. So, what do you make of it all? Well, the only surprise is that they told us in the first place. Well, I don't suppose they were going to tell us beforehand, were they? <laughs> well, would you say anything at her age? I mean, I'd sooner have joined a convent. So you think I'm overreacting? I think you're being protective. Look, girl, our Todd is more responsible than I am. Of all the lads you could have picked, I think you got off lightly. Hello. Here you are. Here you are. Hey, what did you go and say that to David for? The thing is, it don't matter. Well, Martin all right about it. You were more than all right about it. He was dead friendly. Look, can you wait till you cross the road? Come on. How was the factory? Well, the show carter's only come back. Demoted daily, made Karen supervisor, and everyone's yelling blue murder. Well, it could be worse, though. Well, why do you say that? Well, if it's all you lot against that Karen MacDonald, you're going to be one of the gang from now on, aren't you? Carrying up with you? Shit. She has got something to tell you, though. What? No, she'll just have to tell you yourself. Well, where is she? She's in the office with you. They've been in there ages. How come? Look, we've told you where she is. Why don't you go and find out? I can't believe Roy's been so mean to you. It's not just the job. It's just I felt like home. I might have to get a bed and breakfast. Or you could come and stay with me. I wasn't fishing for an invite. And I'm not trying to move you in. I know it's only temporary. Do you think you could put up with me? Now you are fishing. Of course I can. You OK? I guess she told you then. No, I'm glad you're honest. In fact, I'm very proud of you. Pity Mum isn't. Well, as a matter of fact, I am. I don't think I was very fair the way I spoke to you earlier. He still expected us to ask permission now. Anyone else for a cuppa? I, uh, I just thought that after Bethany, we'd have got over any secrecy or embarrassment about sex. Yeah, but Mum, that was about being pregnant then. This is about how I feel. Just doing what everyone does, because we love each other. I know you do. Hiya. Hiya. How was Simon's? Yeah, we're all right. 
What's going on here? It's just me and Sarah having a chat. It's allowed, isn't it? Oh, one of those. Uh, just so you know, Sarah and Todd are sleeping together. They've told me today. Oh. Well, that's very responsible. Can't ask for more than that now, can we? Oh, right, that scam you started. I want it stopping, OK? What scam? Hmm. What scam? The one where you clock on and off for each other. I saw Janice doing it for you the other day. Now, listen, you're one of us now, all right? Right. I'll, uh, I'll have a word with her. No, 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 no. First task. You give her an official warning, you tell her two strikes and she's out, OK? Yeah, let's Steve. Yeah. Hey, baby. What are you doing here? Just, uh, wondering what you're up to, that's all. Uh, right, can you just uh, give us a second, Joe? No, no, you're right, you get off. Uh, save it for Janice, yeah? I'll see you on Monday. Right, yeah. Yeah. All right. You home now. What's going on? Uh, I don't want to tell you here. Why not? Because I'm going to tell you in bed. Tell me now. Spoil sport. Your wife is only the new supervisor. Says who? Says Joe, got a promotion, and uh, guess who's got a pay rise? And how do you manage that? Cos I'm good! Hey, come on! Why are you happy for me? Karen, it was only a few months ago that he sacked you. Yeah, and now we're getting along just fine. Yeah, and now he just gives you your job back for no good reason. What? Karen, I saw you last night, having a nice little cosy chat. And now he just gives you a promotion. There he's leaving drink, Steve! So why aren't you left, then? Persuaded him to stay, did you? And what was all that about just then? Discussing work. Oh, you've been doing that a lot recently, so are you. I get a promotion for the first time in my life. Therefore, I must have slept with a boss. Oh, I'm not saying that. But what exactly are you saying, Steve? I'm just saying how it looks, that's all. Well, I'm telling you how it is. I'm trying to celebrate something and you're just insulting me. Oh, all right, I'm sorry. Oh, forget it, you've ruined it now. I want to go for a drink on my own.